Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, June 9th and this is the search news we covered over at the Searchers and Roundtable, seroundtable.com seroundtable over the past week. First up, we got our June 2017 Google Webmaster Report for you. Um, and that report um, goes through the most important things that I think for the past month of what happened with Google. That's Webmaster and SEO related. The big things was the whole entire month, the Google algorithms and the rankings were in fluctuation. They're still in fluctuation big time. Google has not commented about it, um, so it's pretty hard to know exactly what's going on, uh, but, it was, but it's pretty interesting to see these things happen over time. Um, also, Google said some things about the mobile first index, how they're not gonna release a sandbox preview, but they might release it in batches. Google warned us again about not doing uh, links, uh, blog links and so forth for, for spamming Google and so forth. And finally, Google dropped support for the DMAS uh, snippets in the search results. So that was the, the Webmaster Report. Definitely take a look at that if you've been sleeping for the past month or so. Okay, um, next up, Google told us, oh, somebody actually sent an email to Gary from Google basically trying to sell them high DA domain authority links. Not page rank links, but domain authority links. And that's a, a double negative to send to Google, uh, specifically Gary. You don't want to want to sell, send an email to Google telling them, hey, I want, do you want to buy links from us? And here are the sources where you can actually buy the links. And two is you don't want to call them domain authority links. Um, obviously, page rank is gone, but you and I probably get these emails all the time. Here's a sample. Oh, I have these domain authority um, links, a domain authority of 90, uh, and so forth. And you can buy from Entrepreneur, Forbes, etc. Don't send those links to Google. Don't send them to me. Don't send them to anybody. It's not really that useful. And Gary then commented later about that outside, outside of saying, hey, don't send me these links or stop. <laughs> it's not a good idea. He basically said, we're pretty good at ignoring links at any website, regardless of the website. And that includes uh, links from Forbes, I'm Entrepreneur, um, all these different types of websites out there. I'm not going to go list them all, but you get these emails all the time, just like I do. Um, so Gary's saying they got it under control. Um, Google says they only, they, like he's been saying over there, they have to ignore those links. Google's been saying that they only penalize really, really bad links. Um, and he said that in a tweet over here, as you can see. It depends on the purpose of the link, really. Um, but if it's not one of these really bad link manipulation techniques or schemes, we're just going to probably ignore them and not penalize them. Of course, that's obviously Penguin's purpose is to ignore links versus penalize links and going forward. Um, the Google's John Mueller said it's better to use pop-up style divs than to actually use interstitials. And he said this in a tweet basically about you know age verification. He said stick with the pop-up pop style divs. Don't go with interstitials for age verification if you can. So that's a nice little tip from John. Um, Google said if you have a site in one language, obviously there's no reason to use href lang on that site. Google will figure out what site, what language it belongs to, and it will just use that. And also around href lang, it doesn't matter if you, let's say you have your, your site in three or four or five different languages, it doesn't matter which order you put the href lang in. It, it doesn't, has no meaning at all. It just tells Google where to go. It doesn't, the order of that href lang doesn't make a difference. Google said, a, a, a less active crawl rate doesn't necessarily mean your website's banned in Google's eyes. It just means that your content's not being updated or refreshed that often. And again, for some sites, that's perfectly fine, he said. Google also said that they don't do a spring cleaning in their search index. So, so it's not like they're like cleaning out their whole index, revamping it, and so forth. Obviously, they've done that with caffeine. They've done it kind of with... They're doing that kind of with a mobile first index, but that's just by because they're changing the infrastructure. They don't go through the index and just clean it up and say, hey, these pages are garbage and they're constantly doing like on this date, um, we're, we're like cleaning up the index. They're constantly crawling and indexing and, and doing stuff there, but not on a specific date or like time frame, like spring or something like that. Google seems to have expanded the reach of the featured snippets across Europe and, and Scandinavian countries. Like Denmark saw a 200% increase, Netherlands 180% increase, Norway, et cetera, et cetera. And this is by uh, Rank Ranger. They have a features thing that shows by country how featured snippets are fluctuating. So that's a pretty cool feature there. Um, and I guess if you are in those regions, maybe you're seeing more featured snippets. Of course, in the U.S., we're seeing a tremendous amount of featured snippets for queries. Google is testing hotel pricing sliders and carousels, labels, and search. So we saw the labels before. Let me zoom in a little bit. We saw the labels before over here. Uh, but now we got this slider. We can actually slide different price ranges. And it will show the, the price in the actual carousel as well. So that's a pretty cute feature as well.
Um, hold on, get rid of that. There you go. Um, and uh, and that's um, being tested right now. Google Hotel Packs. I'm sorry, Google Hotel Packs is now showing the number of hotel listings in that pack. So if you scroll down and you see whatever, this uses to just say more hotels. Now it says the actual number of hotels. Um, I can't replicate that. Uh, I, mean, I, I can't replicate that, but some people are able to replicate that. Um, Google is also now rolling out the tab interface for certain types of business profiles. Um, Google confirmed it's actually fully rolled out. What happens is you have this tab here, overview or reviews, and you can actually just toggle between them to actually get that information. With that, Google seems to be testing for hotel listings specifically a three-tab approach. So let's show this with like Sergi as well. Um, so as it's low as you see overview, rates, and reviews, not just overview and reviews, but also rates. And when you click on the rates, obviously it shows you those rates over there. Google seems to have moved the Google Post management feature, where you can actually post information right to your knowledge graph for certain businesses. Google allows this and organizations and personalities right into the Google My Business Center. So if you go into the Google My Business Center, there's a new link here called Post. When you click it, you can upload an image, type some text, and make it and post it and so forth. Um, Google's rolling that out to other business categories as well over time. So that's pretty cool. Small little tip in on Google Search Console. They renamed the other resources to web tools. So this used to be called other resources. Now it's called web tools. There's a GIF showing it in action. Google is testing more and more variations of their black user design. It's no longer black necessarily, um, but it has all these different color variations. So you can see it's now blackish with the underline of the Google in blue with these, the cool Google color logo up there. Um, zoom in so you can see that a little bit. Um, and finally, this is pretty cool, uh, on June 20th, so not too far away, about 11 days from now, um, John Lincoln uh, from Ignite Media, I believe, um, it has produced an SEO movie. It's basically a small documentary, it's not that long, I think it's about 40 minutes or so, of some of the history and um, happenings of the SEO industry over a certain period of time. It's called the SEO movie. There's a trailer out which you can actually watch. It's pretty cute. Um, Danny Sullivan, myself, uh, Rand Frischkin, uh, Joe Whalen, Brett Tabke, and Ray Hoffman are all featured in that video, as well as some uh, industry highlights and so forth. So it's pretty cool to see that. In any event, that pretty much recaps the Search Buzz video recap. Thanks for those, those who are watching live on Facebook, and of course all those who watch it on YouTube or iTunes. Um, I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next. Have a, have a good one. Bye.